Good morning everybody. Sorry for the lack of upload recently. I've kind of been spring cleaning and the weather's not been very good when it comes to making videos outside on the car. So today the weather is finally looking a bit better. So we're gonna hopefully get some stuff done. So today on the agenda, I need to go down to the garage, which is just down the road. And I need to try and get my headlights aligned because for those of you who are unaware, I live in Europe. I don't live in the UK anymore. So I had to change the headlights and they aren't aligned properly, I don't think. So I need to go and get that checked out. It's usually a cheap little fix. So I'm gonna go down there, get them to realign the headlights. And then hopefully if the weather stays as nice as it is right now, we're gonna have a little look and see what that knocking sound is underneath the car because on the bottom left hand side of the car, I can hear a knocking. It sounds like a tie rod end, but I've gotta take it, uh, take off the left wheel and just have a little listen and see what it is. It's only when I turn left or right, I'm hearing a big like clonking sound coming from the, from the left side. So hopefully if the weather stays nice, we can take the wheel off, jack it up, put it on some axle stands and have a look and see. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be a pretty easy day as long as the weather stays nice. Right, enough talking. Let's go down, let's go get the car ready. Let's take it down to the garage before it shuts for lunch. Let's go down there and get that sorted and see where we can go from there. I've also got these boxes here with parts and this is all like service parts. I've got a new air filter, a new oil filter, a new fuel filter, some oil obviously, and basically we need to try and service the car at some point, so I don't know if that's going to happen in this video. Yep, that is also another problem I need to get fixed, don't worry, it will come very very soon. Okay, so I've just arrived in town, I thought I'd drop my mum off at the bank as well, she's going to do her own thing in town at the moment. So I'm going to head over to the garage and we're going to get him to align these headlights. It's usually only like a, a three minute thing. It's not really a complicated thing to do. So we're going to go over and get that done. And looking at the weather, it seems to be staying really hot. Like at the moment it is boiling. I've got to unload the drum kit. As you can see, I was recently at a band practice. So I've got the back full up with shit. So I need to get that cleared out first. And then we're going to try and hopefully jack it up and see what that knocking sound is. I'll see if I can show you what the knocking sound is I'm talking about actually before we even go into this. You're probably wondering what the f*** I'm on about. Well, let's see if you can hear it. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Because every time I do this with the wheel, I've got a major knock. Now I don't know if anybody who's watching this from the Fiat owners group knows what the hell it is. Hopefully today we're going to look at that. If not, then we don't, but who knows? We'll see what today has in store for us. But one of my Fiat brethren are here. That is one ugly ass color though, I'm not going to lie. Why would you buy a car in that color? So it's currently the following day, it's the next morning. I am obviously at home at the moment, chilling out, because yesterday I went to the garage and they told me I need to go back on Thursday to get my lights sorted out. So that's not until tomorrow, which is a f***ing nightmare. So for now, I'm just chilling out. I've been playing some Xbox with some friends. It is currently Wednesday, so it's a day in between. So I'm hopefully going to get some stuff sorted out today. I don't know. It all depends on whether I can be bothered. Because as you can currently see outside, it is looking very, very bright. It's nice and sunny. But the driveway's still a bit muddy along here. So I can't exactly work here. So I'm going to have to take it up to the hangar if I do anything. But there she is over there. So what I really need to do is empty it out first. I need to empty out the car with all my drum kit and things like that. And move it up here so I've got less weight in the car. And then I suppose I need to get that front wheel off and have a listen to that knocking because it's getting on my nerves. So I'm going to finish off my morning coffee, then I'm going to head over and unload the drum kit from the car and then hopefully we can take the car up to the hangar, get the front wheels off, get it up on axle stands and have a much more detailed inspection of what the hell is going on underneath all of that shit. Right, that's it. Coffee time's over. Time to actually make a start on this video because so far all I've recorded is not a lot. I wonder if you'll notice me. Hello boy. He just doesn't care. So as you can see here on my driveway, it's not very dry. Not really a good place to work on a car. Apart from maybe this bit here, it's not so bad. We might be able to use there, but if not, I might have to bump it up here, jack it up here and have a look and see what I can do with it here.
believe how much I can actually fit in this thing. You fit a whole drum kit in there without any kind of problem with just the seats down. Insane. For such a little car, it's got mad cargo space. You right there, doggo? Hello? Get off. So this is everything I actually just got out of the car. This is a full drum kit. This is basically everything I use for a gig for anyone that's interested. Everything that's here is what I usually take to a gig. And that was the ultimate test for this car, really, because I didn't know if it would fit all of this in it without any problems, but it does, which is freaking amazing, to be honest. Anyway, let's move on to some actual stuff. I think I'm going to do it here. I'm going to give this a quick sweep off. Because over here is a bit muddy and it'll be just my luck that the dogs and the cats start running around like maniacs. So I'm going to bring the car over to here, put the front wheels up on this and it's like a level surface for me to jack it up on. Then we can have a quick look and see what's going on underneath this thing. So this is what we're working with. I've blocked off the driveway, I don't really care because nobody's coming home for another few hours. So this should work for me, hopefully. The jacking points are just about on the concrete and I think I've got enough clearance here to get the jack underneath it and jack it up. Speaking of jacks, we have a new one. I went out and bought this the other day, I got two new axle stands and a new jack. I paid something like, I think it was 60 euros? So it's not even that bad. So we're gonna give these a go today, this is gonna be their maiden voyage. Let's hope that they were worth the money. So we're outside, it's nice and sunny, it's a little bit breezy, but it's not so bad. So we're going to get this thing jacked up, take the front wheel off, and we're going to have a little inspection, a bit of an investigation, a bit of a scooby-doo, and see what's going on down there. That is as high as I want to get that because I don't want to get that any higher just yet because I'm, I'm supposed to be putting it in there but it needs to go up so much more that I don't want the car to like slip off it or something. Hey, we got a wheel off boys. These discs don't look too bad and the pads seem to have quite a lot of life left in them which is quite nice to see. So what I'm trying to see is why that knocking sounds happening that I showed you yesterday. Why it's happening. It sounded like it was coming from underneath the driver's footwell when I was turning just now which is why I've taken the driver's side wheel off. Could be that but that looks pretty healthy to me. There doesn't seem to be any kind of knocking coming from that. However, it sounds like it's that. We're going to have a go and see, but in order to do this, I've got to start it up, so this is a bit risky without the axle stand, so I'm going to get that set up first. So after a long, hard wrestle, I've got an axle stand under there just. It's on this nut here, and uh, it's the safest place I can put it under here at the moment. This is awfully high, though. Nothing looks that bad. This is okay. I've checked this. I think it might be coming from this. I'd like to clean all this up at some point, though, which will be a whole other video. Don't worry. I've got lots of plans. When I get the standard stuff fixed, we're going to have a few little fun fun times with the calipers. I want to paint these at some point. What colour should I go? I was thinking of doing them in an orange, because for those of you who own a Stilo, for those of you who are in the Stilo owners group, all the interiors are in orange. All the lights on the radio, the dashboard and everything is orange. I'd like to get the black and orange going, but I could do maybe blue, maybe red. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments and then uh, we'll have a bit of a vote and see what colour we paint the calipers. So the one thing scaring me here when I turn this on, I'm scared that the shake of the engine will make this fall off. I'm hoping not. Let's just go for it. If it drops, then it drops at the end of the day. But we're going to give it a shot. Hey, she stayed on. Nice. Right. 
I can't see anything weird happening there with the steering. I can still hear it. It may, you can't even feel it. It's just the noise. It doesn't like change the steering in any way. It's just the noise. But I can't tell what side it's coming from. So I might have to take apart the other side real quick. I might do that off camera and then just to see what there is under there. So I'm going to take apart the other side and have a look and see. So I've just come back from taking the other side apart and I can't seem to find what the problem is. So I'm going to ask the garage in the morning when I go down there to get the headlights checked out if they can give me any kind of insight on this because it just seems very, very weird. And hopefully they can give me a better idea on what it can be. But I've also been sat here just looking at the car in general. I've obviously got to clean her, so excuse the dirt. But I was just putting the wheel back on and I think I might like this more than I did before. So this is what the wheel usually looks like, but like I said, it's pretty dirty, so bear with me on that. But it usually has this like cap here with Fiat on it, but obviously the Fiat's worn off here, and it's all like scratched up. That's a bit of plastic, and these are alloys, which considering they're alloy wheels, they are freaking heavy. But that's what it usually looks like, and I've just put the other wheel back on, and I've given it a quick like clean up to kind of give you guys an idea of what I've been thinking. I'm thinking of changing it to be like this. I think this honestly looks a lot sportier, maybe get some new wheel nuts as well to make it look a bit better and properly clean this wheel up. It's just otherwise I was going to buy new wheels for this and I mean they need restoring 100% because they're not in the best of conditions. But I honestly think that having it set up like this makes it look a lot sportier. I don't know if that's just me, I just feel like that looks a lot sportier on the car and it kind of suits the car more. So I want you guys to let me know down below what you prefer, do you think I should just get new um, centre caps for the minute? Or should I like spend some time cleaning them up and restoring them the best I can to make them look better so they look like this? Because I'm, I'm looking at this right now and I really like looking. I think I'm going to leave this one like this for a minute. I might take all the caps off. I might, I don't know. I need you guys to let me know what way you prefer it. So please let me know down in the comments below what you guys prefer. Do you prefer it with the center cap on or with the center cap off? Because eventually I will buy new wheels for this. But it's just for now, I think it looks a lot sportier and it actually suits the car a lot more, not having those silly little hubcaps off of it. So what I could do is buy four more of the exact same wheels online on eBay for a couple of hundred pounds, clean them up really nice, maybe plasti dip them in black and take the centre caps off, I think they'd look sick. I mean, I prefer them this way, but it's nice to hear your guys' opinions on it or maybe there's a reason that they have the caps on them. Let me know. I've also got to sort out this scratch because that is awful. I need to get some... Um, some proper polish because it's only a clear coat scratch like I can't feel it at all so I just need to polish it out but it is just getting around to doing it so I need to make sure the car's completely clean first and I've got to do that because it goes across two panels there's a few to come down here as well and there's one that goes across there I do genuinely think that suits the car a lot more looking at it from back here there's the two next to each other obviously the front one's been cleaned I think that suits it a lot better what do you guys think make sure you let me know down below but I think I'm going to wrap this video up here because it's taken over two days. I'm not sure how long or how short this video is going to be. I haven't done a lot. I didn't do what I wanted to do. But it's a video I haven't uploaded in like three weeks because obviously the weather's been really crap. But suddenly the weather's really nice, so I thought I'd take advantage of that. Tomorrow I'm going to get the headlights aligned. I'll obviously ask the garage what they think on that noise, that little knocking sound. So that's going to be in a separate video along with some other stuff, hopefully. Anyway, cheers for checking out the video, guys. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea because I'm British and that's what we do. Obviously, we drink a lot of tea. Make sure you let me know down below as well what colour you'd like to see the calipers painted on there as well and what you think of my idea for the wheels because I want to get that done as soon as possible. A whole other video will be uh, painting the calipers and things like that, which would be so cool. I've never done that to a car before, so it'd be really, really fun. So make sure you let me know your opinions down below, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!